Rodman Spill here, and today we are doing Titans Return Trypticon Review. <clears throat> now this is one big guy, so pardon my uh, work table. Alright, first we'll look at the box. Here it is. <clears throat> Titans Return Decepticon Necro and Decepticon Full Tilt Trypticon. He's got three modes, Battle Station Dinosaur and um, city, there is the box art. It says Transformers, Generations. Uh, this side, it says, some bots believe the Titan Masters hold the key to control the universe. I'll let you read that if you want to pause that right there. You can read it. Then we have the box, we've got Trypticon, 12 steps for full tilt into the robot. And then full tilt goes into the head and becomes Decepticon Necro. And then we have city mode. We got broadside and a couple other uh, returns. And then in this one, we have Titan's Return works with compatible Titan Masters Ramhorn, the Dux class is Misfire, and the Voyager class is Blitzball. Sorry about that, those are my puppies. One's actually named Jazz after the Autobot. <clears throat> and then on this side, we got the artwork. And on top of the box, Decepticon Nitro, uh, Necro, Full Tilt, Trypticon, Spaceship Mode, and City Mode. And that is the box. And then here is the card. It's the Trypticon Titan's Return card. There he is in dinosaur mode. And then we have the stats with Trypticon in the red. Combined with Necro or Necro is green. And then with full tilt, blue. And that is the card. <clears throat> now let's look at Trypticon himself. There is this bad boy. <clears throat> As you can see, he is a very, very big transformer. One of the biggest they make. Not the biggest, though. There we go. And first we'll look at Trypticon. <clears throat> Let's see. We can get a little close-up of his face. There's Trypticon's face. You've got the arms. You've got his giant tail. And you've got his big legs. And there is Full Tilt and Necro on the chest. <clears throat> Here's some more Trypticon. And then on the very back, you have his jetpack. And that is Trypticon. Now, I thought I'd do to show you how big he is. <clears throat> okay, that is Trypticon. <clears throat> First, I figured we'd start off with a legend, a Titan Master. Here is Rat, uh, Fangry. That is how Fangry compares to Trypticon. <clears throat> very, very small. And then next up, we have Legends. We'll do Legends Kickback. He's also part of the Titan Return figure line. <clears throat> and We'll have Legend Class. This is new Power of the Primes Slash figure. And that's Dinosaur to Dinosaur. <clears throat> and next we will do Deluxe. Here's Deluxe Titans Return Twin Twist. <clears throat> that's how they line up. And this is Leader Class Sky Shadow, which you can combine with him when she's in city mode. <clears throat> and here is Titan's Return Fortress Maximus. Notice how Fort Max is a lot taller, but once she's spread out in city mode, Trypticon is pretty good size too. 
and that is for comparisons. Now let's look at articulation. <clears throat> All right. First, we'll start with Triptychon's arms. They do a full 360. You can move his claws in and out. <clears throat> his head <clears throat> can go that high and go that low. His mouth opens up. His mouth shuts. His legs could do... A full 360. The leg moves that far. Uh, his feet just move down and out. <clears throat> Let's see. His tail. You can collapse his tail. His tail moves that much. And that is as far as articulation. That is Triptychon. <clears throat> now, we'll do Necro first. To get him out, you want to pull this down. And full tilt, and Necro pops out. And this is Necro. He's a uh, full tilt. Whoops. There you go. He's a uh, <coughs> purple car. <laughs> That's about all you can say with him is he's, he's purple. And I like to, with a gun, you can pull the cockpit up. And here is Necro, your Titan Master. Again, he's all purple, whoops, with a little black. And on these, head moves 360. Your arms move up and down. And there is Necro, there's full tilt space. <clears throat> and a transform full tilt. First we'll take a look at the car a little more. It's got some detail. It's got some molded detail here. <clears throat> Two stickers I had to put. He's got plastic wheels. That is molded paint. And a transform him. What you want to do is flip. Oh, turn him over. Okay. Turn him over. You flip this out. You flip this out, and the legs go down, <clears throat> legs go down, you close these, and you close those, and there he is half a robot, his arms, whoops, besides popping out, his arms, you just got to be very gentle, there you go, they fall down, his hands come out, and then you just put that straight. Again, very, very gently pull the other hand out. And this just goes back, back on a double hinge, and it goes like that. And then, Necro, arms to the side, turn him up. And the head goes where headmasters usually go. He does come with a gun, and there is Necro. Now, or full tilt, I should say. For comparisons, there is full tilt. Here is another deluxe class, Twin Twist. He's a little smaller. He's almost the same size, but he is a little smaller. <clears throat> Here is Full Tilt and Necro with a Legends class. See the purple theme? Here he is with a Legends class Sky Shadow. <clears throat> and we don't need to do Fortress Maximus. Let's pull the camera up again. And that is Necro, or Full Tilt with ne Oh, and uh, <clears throat> you want to put his crotch piece in. <laughs> Gotta have that crotch piece in. Now, <clears throat> for Triptychon, this is gonna be a bad boy. All right, <clears throat> first we will do battle station mode, or space spaceship mode. Okay, you wanna, you have a little tab right, you have a little notch right there. 
And on the back of Trypticon's arms, you have this little... You have a notch right there. I gotta move the camera up again. There we go. <clears throat> this guy's so big, and I had to use my dining room table for him. So, <clears throat> this part goes in there. Okay, and the hand closes up. <clears throat> and we'll do the same with the other side. <clears throat> Rotate this up. And that goes in there. Now, we'll pull the... I gotta raise them up again. There we go. <clears throat> These. We'll swing up. Swing those up. <clears throat> Turn the head 180. There we go. <clears throat> Turn the head and notice how these will hide his eyes. Hey, it's pretty good. <clears throat> and then what you want to do is <clears throat> turn him over like that or lean him down. And now he's on his back. Smooth cameras again. There you go. Now he's on his back. So, now, on this, you have a little slot right here, which you need to push these in, and then that releases these. What you want to do is hold these down, and he has a little notch. You'll see the sole notch right there. It's got to get in there. So, oh, let me do this first. Here's his leg. What you got to do is you got to. This is on a joint. Now, normally, when you first get them in the box, this leg is off. So, what you got to do is slide these on, and that's how you build them. And this is on a joint there, and this is on a joint. So, you want to push, oh, pull these back. And then this whole area goes back and snaps in. Pull the leg down. Alright, so now, then you push this in and fold the whole leg in. And what you want to do is fold the feet in and get, you just got to line up, you got to bend them at the knee and line up this tab with that hole. And there's, there's that half done. <clears throat> and this flip up like that. Okay, let's try the other side. Let's see if we can do this a little better now. <clears throat> this part, fold out. Take the whole leg. You gotta push the button to release it right there. And then swing this back. That pops in, feet goes down, the whole area goes down, and then you gotta wiggle, you gotta bend them at the knee a little, and put that peg in that slot. And there he is. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> these are little wings, you wanna fold out, fold out that wing, and that is, basically, that is his battle station mode. You can put this up here, flip that over there, and Necro will fit right into it. And then you can put Necro in here. See, there's a gap right back here that you want to stick back there. Like so, and then lock in. And then there is... I'm going to move the camera again. Sorry, folks, but this guy is so big. You can move these out. <laughs> these don't move at all. The, they, they're on a ratchet, but they don't turn and they don't pull out. And that is his battleship mode. So you got the wings, 
You got the legs folded in. They should be tabbed in right there. These fold up, or you can do it like, like that. <clears throat> but they have this like that. Um, he does have a little see-through hallway. And you can tell this guy's got so much detail. Notice the amount of stickers. This guy has got like 158 stickers to put on. <clears throat> what I suggest, I put them on a little at a time. Put a couple on here, a couple. It took me about three days. But what I suggest you do is you get a pair of tweezers to help you with some of these stickers. Then you got guns that go up and down. You got a Septicon logo. This is clear see-through green. There you go. This guy is on a tilt. Alrighty. <clears throat> now for the other side. Like I said, look at the molding on this. That's one of the, that was one of the hardest stickers to put on because they bend easy. Like I said, definitely use a pair of tweezers. This guy is just and the detail that they went into this Trypticon is amazing. <clears throat> See all the stickers, every one of those darn stickers. We're just going to go slow so you can see all the nice detail. The wings. Here's from the back. There's his head. <clears throat> I like how this area kind of covers up the eyes. So it really kind of disguises it. But, I mean, the detail is just amazing. They really did a good job on this guy. <clears throat> and that is his battle station, or a spaceship mode. <clears throat> no, and one thing, what I have to do on this is on these orange pieces right here, mine got scratched on my wood floors, so I had to put a piece of tape here. So I suggest you do is maybe get like little round circles or do clear nail polish but definitely when you get your Trypticon, put some tape or something to cover this up. Because especially if you got wood floors, they will scratch it. And just while he's here, there's some, here's some wheels here. And he's got a wheel here. And again, there's more of those stickers. Tons of stickers on this guy. <clears throat> Alright, now. We got battle station mode. <clears throat> Or spaceship mode. Now, let's go back to the big camera and we will do city mode. Alright, for city mode, what you want to do is you got to pull these up again. I can move the camera again. I don't have a good tripod, so I'm improvising here. <clears throat> now, what you want to do with this guy is pull the wings in for now. Now, when you fold these up, is that good on camera? Yeah. You got to take that back here, <clears throat> and you got to separate them. Now, it's right here where it bends. See how this guy bends? And there's a little stand there. So, you just want to move it over. <clears throat> Can't push this guy any further back. But, <clears throat> and then you can just move these legs. You can fold them a little. There you go. You can fold them at the knees. That stays up. This is a connector joint for Sky Shadow, and he sits on that leg. <coughs> you can flip the ramp down. Actually, before we finish going into C mode, let's compare Fortress Maximus and his battle mode. 
there is Fortress Maximus in his battle mode. We'll just turn this guy around so you can see the difference. Fortress Maximus battle mode and Trypticon space station. Alright, now let's do the other side of Trypticon. Again, what you want to do is split this leg like this. It's got a bunch of little pegs, a bunch of little holes, and there is the stand. And you can move them at the knees, move the knees forward. And there he is at almost in city mode. Let me lower it a little. And when he's in city mode, there he is. You can pull the ramps down. This ramp goes down. These go up. You can fit these up for radar towers. <clears throat> there you go. Full tilt will even go up. The wings stay back. And there you have Trypticon in city mode. And there he is. He's got the antennas. There's the feet, the wings. You always keep them closed because like that they won't fit. Or you can keep them open. There's the leg. See there's that scratched orange piece again when he's in battle mode. This is a connector for the leader class, which we'll look in a minute. There's the ramps again. There's that detail. Now we got the front ramp that goes down. And then he's very, I think the Hasbro did a very, very good job. Again, the amount of stickers on this guy is crazy. And you could take full tilt off. And he could roll down the ramp. Whee! And if you want to store a minute, this piece goes up, and then you could store him there, and then you could bend this piece down. And then we'll take him out again. You can store him like this in in spaceship mode, you don't have to do at the top. And there's that. And we'll flip the ramp down. Oops. And there is full tilt with Trypticon. And for comparison, we will take and bring in Fortress Maximus is in his city mode. Which is a redeco of Generations, I think, 30th Anniversary Metroplex. But that is how they size up. Now you noticed how for, uh, Trypticon, even though he's shorter in dinosaur mode, look how more massive he looks in city mode. That's why I don't really mind him being real short. And... <clears throat> We will bring in a, a battle station mode. This is Sky Shadow. And now to connect the Sky Shadow base to Trypticon, you have that little flap right here. And in Sky Shadow, it's up here. So you want to connect these like so and that is how you do Sky Shadow to Trypticon Whoop. with these little connectors and Fort Max has those same ones too. So there is Sky Shadow and Trypticon and then Fort Max. 
Now, I also want to show you the sticker sheet. This is the sticker sheet. <laughs> 158 stickers and the instructions. Here is your instruction book. That is your instruction booklet for Trip to Come. I really do like this figure. I think with all the detail they put into it, I think everyone should get it. You got a chance to get Trip to Come? Get him. <clears throat> like I said, for me, it was a Black Friday thing. $89.99, and I, I got them. Now, before we finish this review, let's transform him back to rope to dinosaur mode and show you a few of the little gimmicks he comes with. So, first, let's fold everything in. We're gonna fold everything in, take that guy off, We'll start with the feet. What you want to do is fold these. This is a see how this is a double hinge right here, and you got to make sure these pegs all fit into the proper hole. There we go. Yep. Like I said, he comes with his legs off, and you got to build them. Okay, so these get flipped up. Uh, I think that's good. Push the button in. Close it. Flip this down. And snap them in. Now, the other side. <coughs> you want to do again is fold this here. Fold that here. Make sure they're going to be at the right angle for the pegs to fit in. There we go. Uh, push the button. This folds out here. Can you see how that folds in? Push the button to snap that in. And that snaps up. Then flip this guy around. Flip the feet. The purples go out. Flip the feet. And then you somehow try to stand them up. I'm going to go to my bigger camera again. Because this guy is so big. <clears throat> and now we have him. He's actually standing pretty good. Sometimes you gotta maneuver this guy. And arms go down. Unpeg these. Rotate them around. Straighten up the arms. Unpeg these. <clears throat> Or flip these around and take the whole head and do the 180. Whoa, that wasn't good. Uh, come on, trip the con. Hold on one second. Alright, now we're back on track. And we rotate. I don't know why this is giving. Oh. Giving me such a hard problem. He's just hard to rotate. Oh, you gotta get these wings out of the jetpack. There. All right. So these go full down. Head goes out. Let's see, that says this piece will actually pop off every now and then, but you want to lock it up like that. Ah, uh, the tail. You can extend the tail like that, or you can fold it in. You just got it. He's like the new Slash figure. And it's, you got to play with the legs because their they're center of gravity is a little off. So you just got to play with them until you get it to where you like it. Now, <clears throat> and then full tilt. Remember, you pull this down the back goes in here and that closes up and there you have Trypticon and what I like about it is 
He's got a neat little gimmick. Here it is. Raise him up as high as we can. And there is Trypticon. And also, it's pretty neat how he could eat Titan Master. Here is Flame Out with Twin Twist. And you can put him in his mouth. And where is he? Oh, he's in his belly. You could throw him in the mouth. And he comes out the stomach so he can eat Titan Masters. And there's also a peg in his mouth where you could stand up Titan Master figures. And all over in both modes, they do have Titan Master pegs. And there's a little hole right here. Oops, we'll close that. There you go. You can put the Titan Master, you can fit in there. And he activates. Trypticon's gun. So there is Titan Master Trypticon in all his glory. And then you could pose him as you want him. Pose him as you want him. You got full tilt, you got necro. Put a little angry back there. And that is Trypticon. No lights, no sounds, but very very detailed figure some people say there's a problem with the ratchets I haven't seen them with mine so far but <clears throat> I can say it happens but I do say definitely want to put some kind of clear tape or something around those orange things and there you go all right I hope you enjoyed Titans trip to con if you like my please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out all my other videos. Again, Rodham's Bill, signing off. Till all are one, till all are one.